Hello, everyone, or one person in the chat. How are you? Good evening, hope you're well. Um, did you like my little transition there that I put in? I'm quite happy with it. Um, this is still shit scary, not going to lie. Still shit scary. That build-up before uh, coming on. Uh, hello in the chat, whoever you are in there, and hi if you're watching this on Catch Up or on YouTube. Um, hope you're well. Um, how am I? A bit tired today. Uh, quite nervous, actually. Absolutely fine. And then as soon as I hit that go live button, something happens. And I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, it's not a nice feeling. I don't like it. But then I like I like doing this. Uh, once I'm on it, I'm okay. But yeah, that anticipation, it's not nice. Um, so I've not got much to report, to be honest. It's been a very, very quiet day. Uh, woke up tired and I've just felt knackered all day. So I've had a lazy day chilling on the sofa, watching Studio Ghibli films. Um, great comfort viewing. Um, yeah, I don't have any anything to say. Um, I'm just going to boot a game up, I think. Uh, for those of you that missed last time's stream, or, yeah, the last stream, I uh, played Hitman 3, which was very good. Um, I'm just going to boot it up, I think. Let's crack on. Um, I was going to tell you all about my storage heaters that I had a bit of a mishap uh, I put it on Facebook earlier basically been paying extortionate amounts for my electricity because of my storage heaters basically I think I've been setting them right setting them on the right time but it turns out I've been setting them wrong for two years so that was a nice realisation to figure out um, what you're going to do what are you going to do? Uh, right, let's get this started, shall we? Boosh. I feel like it's going to be a quiet one tonight. I'm scaring myself up for it. And I've got a feeling it's going to be a chilled one. So that's fine. That's fine. There's a few games now I'm kind of enjoying. I'm liking this. Ooh, why has that happened? Bear with me. Um, right, you're on. You should be on. Sorry about this, guys. Game capture. Don't want that. Hitman 3, you please, thank you, um, it's actually nerve wracking when there's no one in the chat, for some reason it's much less, I'm much less self conscious when there's someone just at least saying hello, but this is like I'm talking to no one, or maybe I'm not, maybe, there's, maybe you can't, I don't know, I'm overthinking it, shut up Adam, let's crack on. Let's do some killing. Let's forget about all this and do some contractual murder. Lights the Dubai um, level last time, so I'm going to dive in to a new one. Oh, can you hear it? No, you can't hear it. I can't see it on there. In, 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 in. Desktop audio on. Yep. Let me turn that up. Bosh. Let's go. Death in the family. 
let's do it. Oh, let me change the... Um... Oh, I'll do it in a sec. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II. Convoluted this, isn't it? House, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Um, it began here, and it ends here. I'm not really interested. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Let me do the killing. Information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. Kill her. See you on the other side. In a nutshell. Get her killed. Uh, smuggled item. Can't do any of that. My trusty coin, fibre wire, gun. Looking sharp, liking the tweed. Let's go. Find the case file as well. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna have to change the fucking thing in the. Change the title of the stream to Hitman Three. Update. Done. Uh. Our family's home for countless generations. Can't settle down tonight. The I'll Revenant down Alexa in a Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter in law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Let's do it. I've upped the uh, graphics a bit as well, so I think they're looking quite nice. Oh, there was one other thing, actually. Graphics, what was it he called it? The detail, text quality, shadow quality. Oh, that's all look pretty. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator. Hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Well, can I Maybe go Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Sure. Don't look at me, please. Can I go around here? 
No. Let's lure you over. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Am I out of sight if I go in this? Hmm. Hmm. Let's lure him over there. Look over there. Huh? Do you like uh, pennies? You want to have a look? Affirmative. Affirmative. Oh shit. Take this. And this. Oh. 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 Could have just gone over the wall. Oh well. Bit of a laugh, wasn't it? Bit of a daft laugh. The old blood pumping. Hello. Coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Handle very with Agatha Christie. Discretion. I, I have a mystery, yet to see a mystery I haven't solved. And I don't give a toss about my fame, if that's what you're worried about. My lips are sealed. Very well. Oh, from London. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. You assume too much, Madame Carlyle. The crime scene, if such exists, is never where I begin. Do as you wish. However, I expect a result in a timely fashion. Fernsby will take over from here. I'm Mr. Fernsby of the butler. I will try to assist you as best I can. Where would you like to start your investigation, sir? Where's the family? I like to prime the suspects a bit. Madam Carlyle's family members are all on this floor. Maybe start in the sitting room. If you'll follow me this way. I'll follow you. Let's save it here. I mean, you say. That sounds interesting. It's like planting seeds that will grow into telling actions or words. I see. Do you wish to plant any such seeds with me? In before disguise. I, to it? I already had. And fruit. Oh yeah, they that's bear. why I need a disguise. Sir, sir, you you really shouldn't be here. All it could right. be dangerous for you. Uh, yeah, it's dangerous. That was the gun shot. Stay alert. Okay, got it. Quickly. Oh no. They know it's me. They they know it's me. <laughs> Someone just shout bollocks. <laughs> oh bollocks! Oh bollocks! Oh bugger me. 
kind of be a bit more tactful next time. Sorry, I'm not very chatty this evening. I've been knackered all day. That sounds interesting. It's like planting seeds that will grow into telling action or words. Do you wish to plant any such seeds with me before I leave you to it? I already have. Disguise. And fruit. They bear. You are bold. Not to be Self-controlled. Something in here. Screwdriver might need that. Fuse cell. I need to stop thinking about Emma all the time, but she just makes me so angry. Tell me. She scolded oh, Mary for not making the bed the way she prefers it. It's so unfair. She just discovered Zachary's dead body and was all shook up. I tried to tell Emma, and do you know what she said? She said, things will change around here. I can promise you that. And her son Patrick is just as bad. Just look at Rosie. He has no respect. Praying on the girls like that. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. <sighs> you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was tell you. Let's just have a wander, shall we? Let's see what the crack is. I need, uh, right, I'm having your outfit, mate. I like the look of your outfit. I think I might take it. Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? That music makes my heart sore. Quite the poet. But you're right. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh. A penny. No. Oh, Don't look at me. Ah, oh, excellent. Um. It's gonna have to be done, mate. That's gonna. Oh. Sorry. Um, and you as uh. well. Uh. Oh. This guy's matching staff. Um. No. Who's found it? Bollocks. That sounds interesting. It's like planting seeds that will grow into telling actions or words. I see. What's in here? All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. Sabre. Hmm. That come in handy. A lot of people about. It's not straightforward. You come out here. What? Yes, just you. Uh, anybody there? No. Yes. Oh, fuck's sake. Hello? Is 
This is better than my entire TV guide. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Weird. How are you, mate? You alright? I said, sorry, I'm not very chatty tonight. I'm a bit knackered, to be honest. A bit subdued. Uh, no, just that's the one I want. Surviving, mate. Yeah. I think we all are, mate. Just about. It's a funny old time, isn't it? No, don't look over here. I'm dressed as one of you. Why can you all see me still? It's never getting came and went. Wonder what's next. <laughs> I know, man. No. Oh, it's the sword. Got to put. I've got to put this down. Yeah, I'll put the sword down. <laughs> this, the sword was a bit much, wasn't it? This all looks very nice. Oh, what's it all about, eh? Yeah. I'm just saying what's it all what's it all about? Yeah, never mind. Starbucks. Listen, Gregory. Something's off. No. Pruitt got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Oh, dear God, not this again. So I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then what? how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. This is running. Excuse me. Gregory, don't say more to that weird detective than you need to. I was just having a laugh, dear. Must admit, he's pretty good. What if he believes we had something to do with Zachary's death? Oh, please. He's mm. circling us. I don't see him snooping around your sister. It's this private but investigator Alexa guy. Uh, if I could be bothered, let's see what he's about. about your mental health. Sorry, Here? He's down there, wasn't he? You go. Oh, there he is. Um, you there? If you're dressed like a detective forty-seven, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. <laughs> I've had my. You're right, mate. Thank you. I'm a big fan. How's your Saturday night going, Padmire? Thanks for checking out the stream. Bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra fuel. This, I'm very new to this, by the way, Padmire, so You've got to be hence the, uh, the low numbers. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madam Carlyle will be furious. I'm just busking uh, it, mate. The family photo just busking it. Any moment now. I need this shoot to happen, okay? Follow. So, Madam Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Uh, good man, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse... I've got a missing fuse, haven't I? 
Sure, it would be one for the ages. And I need it to be perfect. Can't... Can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I guess we could do that. Good. Look, I'll Are you new to Twitch as well? Grab the fuse just before you call down the family. Good. Yeah, that's a good plan. How are you finding it, if so? Nerve-wracking. Or are you getting used to it? Let's do a little save. You're an actor, so what sort of things do you do? Drama, comedy? Um, bit of everything, mate. When the work's there, I'll do sort of soaps and guest steps and stuff. Um, bits of TV, adverts, that kind of thing. But I also write comedy sketches and short films, uh, live shows. Obviously, before lockdown, I did all that. Uh, I like making short films and that kind of thing. So that keeps me busy when the uh, when the work's not coming in. So yeah, a bit of everything really, mate. But I, I buzz off comedy really. That's my thing. There's um there's a link on the about page if you want to check out any of the uh any of the short films. How about you, man? Do you do any acting at all or anything creative? Um what am I doing with this guy here? Can't just subdue him, can I? Can I subdue him? Disguise yourself as a you photographer. Yes, up, that's what I'm supposed to do. Hey, she's single, Rebecca, right? Maybe I should ask her out. Get to know her in a personal way. Oh, damn. Look at that apricot. Go and look at it. Hey, can someone check that out quickly? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, not you. It's the photographer I want. Are you? Yeah, okay. Nothing. Do you know what? Don't you dare hit me! <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Just let's go. Let's go loud and dumb. Sod all the uh, creeping about. Don't lose focus. Right, that's that's that done. So do, do, do. I also did a bit of uh, stand-up Padmaya as well. I tried a bit of stand-up a couple of years ago, enjoyed that. But then I found out pretty quickly that you need to really stick at it. Like, you know, to get good at it, you really need to put the hours in. And acting work would come up. And I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it, but I have a lot more respect for stand-ups now, put it that way. That's hard, man, and shit scary. Like, I get nervous doing this, I get nervous, kind. I do get nervous when I'm doing acting, but the nerves before getting up on stage and doing a set, Jesus. Yeah. Takes a lot to do that. Takes a lot to get comfortable doing that, anyway. Right, what do I need a Crowbar. Crowbar anywhere? Anyone got a crowbar? Has anyone got excuse me, have you got Hope a battery? You're not undercover paparazzi. Mm. I'd hate to have to smash up those lenses of yours. Uh huh. Has anyone got a battery for an Ericsson? Might need that. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. No. Break off unicorn horn. Hmm. A few cell. I picked one up before, didn't I? Or did I die? I did. I died. But it was. Oh no. In here, yes. Uh, internet problems, no worries, mate. 
I do have an agent. Yeah, I've had a few. I've had a few over the years, man. Um, the one I'm with now is really decent. Yeah, I think. It, it, even if you got a good agent, doesn't always mean you're going to get work. The uh, the industry's just overcrowded. That's as simple as we can put it. Uh, delay to my feeder. Oh shit! Oh look. Ericsson battery line, nice. <laughs> yeah, having an agent doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get work. Don't move. Don't look you at me. Here, sir. But they are good to have. But that's why I tend to write my own stuff and try and produce as much stuff as I can, just out of necessity, really. But yeah, I do enjoy it. How about yourself, man? Do you, like I said, do you do anything creative at yeah. all? Nah, the guy must have thought better of it. Can't really blame him though, you know. He doesn't even fucking look at me. You wouldn't be scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish you did. Oh, I'd show him. You wouldn't believe. But until then, I'm standing down. Um. Take a photo of the staff member with the photographer's camera. What? Why? <laughs> why, why am I doing this again? <laughs> Take a photo of the staff member with the photographer's camera. Um, okay. I mean, she's dead. Um, I'm c use camera. Yes. No. What is happening? Oh, the camera's there. Right. Maybe she shouldn't be unconscious. Maybe I... I think I've messed up there, haven't I? Let's see if... Um, Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Let's um, see what happens if I do that. What happens if I do that? Mission story failed. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Uh, I just killed that woman over there because I didn't know what I didn't know what else to do. Shoot your next episode of my web series later in the year, hopefully. Ah, oh, sweet. So I'm paid. So I won't offer you that. <laughs> but if you know any actors who are desperate for show your experience, send them my way. Yeah, I will do, man. Um, yeah. Web series, what, what is it? Is it a comedy? Is it uh, serious? That sounds cool. I've got some that lined up as well that I'm hoping is going to be okay to go ahead in May, June time. Also, like, I have no problems working, you know, with mates and stuff like that. It's always, sometimes it's just a good, it's a good crack in it to make something, even if there's no money in it. Right, where's this woman? Because I'm just going to, I'm going to sod the mission stories and just, I'm just going to go and kill her. Right. I've had, a, I've had enough of that, just stop it! Stop looking at me. I am trained and I am very right wing. Get well done to the CCS double time. He's losing. Oof. You want some? I'll give it ya. Oof. No. No, 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 no. I don't like it. Let me try another uh let's try Dubai one. Not feeling that one for now. Uh comedy spoof series called Crooked Valley on YouTube. Sweet. And you can always get 
uh, actors, but I struggle to get extras. In this episode, I've seen a load of extras in. Ah, yeah, that is tricky. Have you got... I suppose you haven't got a budget, have you, to go through a, an agency? What? Uh, my other suggestion would just be Facebook. There'll be... There's loads of groups on Facebook for vol voluntary filmmakers. Where are you based, Padma? Are you, are you north, south? Are you England? Yeah, what the fuck? That. Oh, he jumped then. Shoots Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Wake up! Something's very wrong. Yeah, I've got a gun, guys. Sorry about this, I'm just blowing the cobwebs off, really. No. Nope. Another go. Uh, Star Now. Oh, right, yeah, is that any good, Star Now? And your series, what's it called? Crooked Valley. Is that some uh, you've written? Is that the first thing you've written? Have you done other stuff? To Manchester, no way. Ah, maybe our paths have crossed. It's a very small, small town, Manchester, especially in the acting front. Everyone knows everyone. <gasps> have you, uh, have you got an agent, mate? If so, have you had, have you had much, had much work? It's always a bit quiet, isn't it? It's always a bit quiet. Hello. Get that open. Fire, fire, the fair's on fire. Tango is lost. Move, find him. No. What? Just having a laugh, guys. Oops. iPhone, eh? They're pretty decent, aren't they, to be fair? And sketches and web series, I used to do it to go Hollywood. <laughs> I just do it because I love it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you get to meet some great people, upcoming actors. Yeah, man. Silly, re the silly way to do it, isn't it, really? If you enjoy it. I think I get hung up a lot on whether I'm going to be taken serious, like, especially when I left drama school. I was like, oh, I shouldn't really do that, or, you know, if I want to be taken seriously, you try and project this image of what a serious actor looks like, or what a credible actor looks like, and then you get to a point where, like, it really, it doesn't really matter, you know, like doing this, for example, like doing streaming, or, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, 
I guess you you learn as you as you go on in life that there's yeah, there's no point doing anything unless you enjoy it, especially with acting. There's not much work about anyway. So make stuff you want to do. Work with people you want to work with. That's half the battle as well. That doesn't half make it easy when you're working with actors and people that you really, you know, that you respect and you can have a laugh with. Uh, I don't think I've got the concentration span for this tonight. Guys, I might put on another game. After I've just had one more little... You could probably tell because I'm just killing people randomly. So let's at least kill the target. And then we can say we've done it. In here. There he is. Okay, the exit. I'm off. Yes. I had an actor who was in my comedy films and then he was one of the actors in Ackley Bridge, no way. He wanted his name scrubbed off all my stuff because he didn't want to be associated with comedy stuff, no way. Uh, I'm going to turn. I'm going to put a different game on, bear with me one sec. Not feeling Hitman, it's a bit, it's a bit intense for my mood. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's go with... Little nightmares. It's a bit more chilled. Um. Sorry, bear with me one second. Streamlabs. Nope. Nope. Game capture, double click. Any full screen application. Will that work? Please work. Yes. That's better. Um, yeah, no way did you do that. That's proper egotistical. Scrubbed off completely. And Ackley Bridge, I've never even I've never seen Ackley Bridge. Is that any good? It's not exactly not exactly Shakespeare, is it? Like not to sound snobby, but sort of projects you hope to do after lockdown. Well, there is there's a short film that I've written called Wolf Ticket, which was supposed to happen um last March but obviously that got cancelled so that's been postponed till May and that's a short film which I did a bit of crowdfunding for so that's all good to go uh, it's pretty it's a pretty low-key short film but it's like a dark comedy thriller it's on my Vimeo page if you click on the Vimeo page there's like a the pitch that I did for it is on there so yeah I'm looking forward to that and I've been writing this script no quick I've been writing a horror script as well that's taken me getting up to a year now I've been working on that but yeah I did the first draft of it um, took me a about four or five months to do the first draft and then I got some notes and they were like you should change the main character so I completely rewrote a lot of it the second draft and I'm just about to start the third draft so that's been a pretty long process I don't know what's going to come of it it's definitely not something I could produce myself it would need it would need a big studio so it's a bit of a long shot but I've been enjoying it, man. I've been enjoying the struggle of it. <laughs> as daft as that sounds. Because it's the only way you really learn. 
because I'm used to writing. I, I had a writing writing partner who I still work with, but we sort of parted ways creatively. We're still really good mates, but I was used to writing comedy stuff and having a comedy partner to bounce things off, and that was always easier. I thought, and I would write stuff on my own as well. But this is the first thing I've written, like a full length thing that I've written, which is much more serious and. I love horror. It's I'm I'm fairly proud of it. It's by no means perfect. What changes to the main character did they want? Um they wanted a different main character. <laughs> so the main character was a guy and it was my it was my comedy partner actually who read it and said, Have you thought about if it was his wife instead? Because we don't see her like for the whole second act she disappears and then she comes back eventually but he said I, I wanted to see her I wanted it to be her story and he was right but partly was like for fuck's sake I can't be asked doing that that's such a big uh, you know overhaul but the more I started writing it I was like yeah I've got so much more invested because it's, a, it's about um, it's thematically it's very similar to, say, Wicker Man and Rosemary's Baby. So it's about uh, mother, mother, child relationships. Um, so it makes much more sense that the main character is the mother. So as I said, that's been a big overhaul, and it, I think it's better for it. But we're not out of the woods yet. But it's much better than the first draft. So do you write much other than comedy stuff, or have you thought about, you know, branching out into other things? Is it something you're quite new to? Or have you done it for a while? So I remember this bit. Down we go. Uh, did you train Padmai, by the way? Not, I don't want that to sound elitist or anything, just purely out of interest. No, uh, no, nothing. up today. What's wrong with me? Uh, let's pick you up. Go on. In the right comedy. Cool. Scripts, action comedies. Did it? Did try historical drama once, but was crap. <laughs> Why was it crap? I I find it much easier to write comedy, and funnily enough, uh, yeah, action. The first the first draft of this thing I'm writing at the moment was very much. It started off as one thing and then turned into a, more of an action horror halfway through. And I realised that that is it's quite a flippant way to write, f for this particular thing anyway. It was kind of undermining the gravity of what it could have. So it was undermining all the horror elements because it's all very... There's different laws in action films, isn't there? But with horror, you really have to... I don't know. I think it forces you to mine the characters a bit more and flesh them out more. You know, the character just can't suddenly become, you know, Vin Diesel halfway through. You've got to earn it. For, for this thing I'm writing at the moment, I'm, I'm talking about. So that was a challenge, trying to keep it all grounded and, and write against my uh, 
my comfort zone. Right out of my comfort zone. Crouch. Drown out 10. 66. I realised at the end I didn't really have a good likeable protagonist because all the people going for the throne. Going for the throne back there were not bad. <laughs> yeah, likeable protagonist. That's. That's the key, really, isn't it? If you can write a good, good protagonist. There's no real formula to that, is there? You just have to work at that. And it's very disheartening when you realise a big flaw like that. When I got that note off my mate, it's like I don't. Uh, I'm not vouching for this guy at all. I'm not rooting for this guy at all. I think the main character should be the, the wife. I was like, for fuck's sake. You know, going through all of that. Because it, it took me so long just to come up with that. And I was really proud of it. I was buzzing off it. I was like, this is this is really, really good. The next few drafts will just be little tweaks here and there. But no, no, no. And then you realise people like Aaron Sorkin wrote, um, what do you call it? A few good men. I think he he wrote about twenty drafts of that before before it even got put on stage. So it is mad the the amount of work that no one really sees. You you yeah you realise that when you actually sit down to write how much mental stamina it takes. I'm not talking like I'm a, an accomplished writer by any means. I'm just saying I get it's fucking hard. Not trained in filming, I've uh, got a master's in script writing. Oh, sweet! So you know, right? You actually know your shit then. You know your stuff, I mean, not you know your shit. Um, <laughs> I've got a master's in script writing, and then no one filmed my stuff, so I just did it myself. Best way, man. So, do you do um, all your stuff on your iPhone, or have you got, or are you thinking about getting kit? Because I've got this thing I'm shooting on now. I got this recently because I had a bit of money saved up. And I was dead interested in. Basically, it's out of necessity, isn't it? Because I, I got to do a saying to the same point where I left drama school, made friends with some filmmakers, and they would see some live stuff and they'd be like, oh, I want to make that into a short film. And then that eventually dries up because they progress in their careers and they start getting paid work and they can't work for free anymore. And you're kind of left, you know, with. <laughs> like Billy No Mates no, no one can afford to work with you anymore because everyone's got to earn a living so I thought I'll, I'll, I'll save up a bit and, uh, and shell out for one so I got a Canon N50 which is what this is and it's it's for an entry it's an entry level like budget camera but it's it's buzzing man I really really like it I'm not even scratch the surface of you know the the configuration of it I love it. Again, you can buy it for every two years. Nice. And the picture and sound get better with each new model. They do look pretty buzzing, to be fair. There's the films. Um, oh, what was it? Tangerine? That was shot on an iPhone. I've not seen it, but I've seen the other film. Is it the Florida Project? By the same filmmaker. I, for one, think you look lovely on this camera. Thank you. Thank you, Choptimus. Yeah, I like it as well. Looks alright, doesn't it? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys. Sorry. Just chatting away. I did this last night, though, so... He's supposed to come through here. Yeah, Tangerine, that's the one. Have you seen it? Is it any good? I wasn't massively keen on Florida Project, I've got to say. No worries, man. You seen any good films lately, Choptimus? Right, so he can't come in there of this clock so I'm safe in there not safe there 
no, 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 no. Ah. so much actually and catching up with some of the series I meant to have watched already yeah anything anything noteworthy Mandalorian I've watched that recently I think I asked you that last time it's quite good Serpent is that good on BBC I try that I might give that a go tomorrow yes on the carpet please Three that half decent, yeah. I've seen that, it's good. No, uh, Chernobyl's uh, a bit of a slow burn, isn't it? Slow, slow burn because of the radiation. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Why a fanboy though? Nothing beats it. Uh, I've never got into it, you know. Never got into it. I found it a little bit, um, a bit too com, a bit too complex for my massive, for not my massive brain, for my small brain. I, just, I couldn't follow it. To be fair, I, no, don't. I only watched a couple of apps. That's old now, isn't it? Sopranos, yeah, you can't beat Sopranos. I might actually go back to that. I've only watched it once. Right, come on now, Adam. Focus. Shake the shoe. Throw it up there. No. Run, 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 run. I was pressing the wrong button. That was, that was why. Yeah, I think that was massively baked, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you physically couldn't do anything else other than stare at it. <laughs> Almost in a, a state of paralysis. I was going to ask, is, uh, have you tried uh, CBD gummies? I'm a bit curious. I don't know if they're legal or anything. I don't know if this is uh, TOS. A C is CBD legal? And if so, are the gummies legal? Because I, I really don't like getting stoned. Up. But edibles sound like they're quite, they're not as intense. I'm less likely to, you know. Go insane. What's going on with that? I probably why I see off one nowadays, yeah. This is like CBD. I'm not advocating um, CBD if it is illegal. If anyone's watching this, if the if the police are watching, if the popo are watching this. But I've heard that CBD is 
much more mellow than, you know, getting stoned. Yeah, me too, to be honest, mate. That's why, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you can get vape oil. Yeah, legal. I watched a good thing called Staged, which is pretty decent. Might order some. Yeah, I'm going to look into it, I think. Just purely out of curiosity. Uh, yeah, there's a good series on iPlayer called Staged with Michael Sheen and David Tennant. It's like a comedy series about they play themselves. It's kind of feels a bit like The Trip in that they both play versions of themselves and their friends in real life. And they're rehearsing a play via Zoom during lockdown. And it's, uh, it's really funny. I, I wasn't expecting to like it at all. Or... Uh, David Tennant as much as I did but he's really really funny in it I recommend it, it's a good giggle some great cameos in there as well but yeah Over the monkey. <coughs> Push you off. <laughs> no! It's alright, we're fine. That's fine. Stay still. I mean, to work good then. I heard stage, no, then silent. Alright. No! Uh, um. Staged is uh, it's a comedy on BBC iPlayer with Michael Sheen and David Tennant. It's very good. It's, it's basically about they play themselves rehearsing a play over Zoom during lockdown. So it was it was on last year, but they've done two series now, and there's some great some great cameos in it. Very very good. stuff Tannen. I was I was watching him and I was thinking he's a really good actor um, he just doesn't do stuff that I usually watch like I'm not a, I'm not a Doctor Who fan so I didn't watch him in that and then he was just sort of cropping up in every cop drama there was on telly Broadchurch was good but yeah he can act and uh, he's very good in this like doing comedy they say doing comedy is is harder to do well than it is to just act generally and it, him and Michael Sheen are fucking great together really really funny no
do you do then? Sometimes I do I much prefer stuff like this where it's like here's the beginning, here's the end, get from there to there. Stuff with Hitman or games like that, I can lose interest really, really quickly. I'm just like, tell me what to do, point me in the right direction, and I'll do that. I will come back to Hitman. Well, he likes that. He likes that TV, doesn't he? He's fucking buzzing off that TV. Look at it. program that was the one I possibly were nappies <laughs> if, the thing is if you're alone you don't have to wear nappies mate you do what you want no wears or braces right let's just uh Oh, he's, he can't hear me because he's buzzing off that. Go back to your show, mate. No. Never mind. He looks like uh, Freddy Krueger a little bit. And earlier, he was doing some stuff with spoons. Like he was stroking a spoon. And I thought, oh, it's a little, little nut of salad fingers, maybe. Which I liked. Um, right, so there's that handle there. Can't go up there. Um, this case, can't do anything with that. Where does that handle go? Let's turn the telly on. Grab you. Get you up. Can you go up there? Can I throw you up there? No. Bam, bam. Right, you've got to go back through there, then, haven't you? Watch your program, mate. Go watch your program. No. No, 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 no. No. Please, please, no. What do I do with this?
not supposed to do that handle. up there oh this drawer's there right must be able to climb up that silly me it's very dark though how are you supposed to see that TV on. Oh, put you down. TV on. TV on, please. Pick that up. Throw it. Can't throw it. Right, so I've got to carry it to wherever it's going. in there, mate. Oh. Music starts to get to you after a while, doesn't it? So it's got to be somewhere on the ground. Not you. Maybe something quite big. No. Oh. All the way back, maybe. Yes! Got there in the end. Alright, quite quickly. Quite quickly. He's gonna come now, isn't he? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, 
and go in. Go, 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 go. Bring you back in to eat. Come on, fuck you now. Um, no. You shat it. You shat it, not me. Two sex. Grab a drink. Oh. Bollocks. Pause. Two sex. Me back. Just get a little drinky drink. Cheers. This is a Beaver Town Laser Crush alcohol free. Focus on that. It's very nice. Mmm. Cheers. What are you drinking, Chop? What's your tipple? You're on the IPA. These are really nice. Nicer than uh, Brew Dog. Yeah, right now. Right now. What are you drinking right now? Cup of tea, mate. Can't beat a good cup of tea. What, uh, what brand do you go with? PG Tips, Yorkshire, Tetley's, Dry January Wanker. You are, or I, or I am. You're doing Dry January. I've not, I've uh, been dry for about two years nearly now. Knocked it on the head. Good for you, man. Run! Yeah, good for you, man. Good for you, father. Good for you. What am I supposed to do there? Do you feel better for it? Or are you just kind of like, get this month over with so I can have a drink? What am I supposed to do? Just leg it? Not missed it. Need to be tri Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I 
I'm stuck on this one. I have to be quick, whatever it is. What the fuck? Go back out that way, maybe. See, wise, I usually go for Yorkshire from feeling flush. If <laughs> 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 you've got guests around, you'll put PG tips in Yorkshire tea in a Yorkshire tea box. What the actual frig am I supposed to do there? Yorkshire tea is pretty good, isn't it? I've only had it, I only had it recently, and I was like, this is like property. It's really strong. What am I supposed to do here? Typhoon in a Yorkshire box for guests, yeah. Have I done something wrong here? I'm just standing there. Bug, can it? I'm just gonna fucking leg it. Just leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Run, 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 run. Ah! Right, I can slide through that. Next time, next one's mine. Oosh! Shame thing to say, but uh, the non alcoholic drinks they're making nowadays are very, very tasty, aren't they? <laughs> that and coffee is all I've got, it's all I've got in my life. Non alcoholic beer that tastes like beer and lots of coffee. We're doing non-alcoholic gin now. Gordons are doing it. How mad is that? And it's 14 quid. Just hide. Stay there. Steady. Hold your ground. Call it gin, so what? <laughs> I think it's uh, I was gonna say turps, but that's very alcoholic, isn't it? That joke doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, with uh, peppercorns. <laughs> Water with juniper. <laughs> um, jump there. What's that there?
here. Can I jump onto that? Can I jump sideways? Um, can I pull that out and crush his arms? Nope. Better can. Right, I'm going. I'm going! No! Fucker. I bet I could though. It's not always been like that though, has it? It's only like the past... It feels like the past couple of years, oddly enough, when I stopped drinking that non-alcoholic stuff. That they started bringing... Obviously they've always had, like, Bex Blue. That was like, always the stuff that Alkies would drink at the local. <laughs> um, that was about it. But it, I don't know, it seems to me like people started cutting onto it. From what I observe, anyway. I don't think. I think I draw the line at non alcoholic gin, though. I might. I'll, I'll just have the tonic. Just a fucking. Uh, a shot of non alcoholic gin. Neat. Proper alky. <laughs> uh, non alcoholic Jägermeister. I think it's the Craft Ale Revolution Stitch. Non alcoholic is joined in. Yeah, shot, shot, shot. <laughs> A non alcoholic Jäger ball. Mm, really, really get you fired up for the night. There is something called. Fucker. There is something called. Um. Oh fucking hell! It's a, it's like a it's a spirit, but it's non-alcoholic. Is it called Third Eye or something like that? Spirit, spirited. It's got like a very hippie-ish sounding name because it's made from juniper stuff, but it's supposed to give you a bit of a buzz. In fact, let me. Uh, let's see if my hotkeys are working. Yeah. Browser. See if this works. Browser enlarged. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Um, what would I call it? Three spirit, that's it, yeah. After <laughs> fucking after all that. <laughs> yeah. Three spirit non alcoholic. The social elixir. Yeah, I mean I don't know if I'd go that far. Um <laughs> Alcohol free. Uh, let me see. An alcoholic reviews. Most awarded. Uh, let me come off this. I don't like Bing. Fuck off, Bing. You shit. Get me Google. Um, free spirit reviews. There you go. Clean, clean gin. Free spirit drink reviews. Does it work? 4.6 out of 5. Brilliant, healthy, extremely posh alternative. I enjoy three drinks. I'm still experimenting with them. Even my husband, which loves his real gin and tea and whiskey, loves it when I mix him something delicious from Three Spirit. That's a fake one. I bought all three of the drinks, they arrived safely, but a, a bit later than I expected. I wanted them for an evening where I was designated driver. I want to know if it gets you fucked. I really like the flavours of these. <laughs> Don't like Bing. Uh -huh. uh, um, 
especially the fiery heat. One of the best things about them is that none of the rest of my family like them. Mmm, more for me. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my family like real booze. Uh, the downside, yeah, the price. What are essentially cordials. They're supposed to give you a bit of a buzz, though. I was reading a review on them. Are they on Amazon? Go back. How much are they? 40 quid. I mean, it's not bad, really, when you think about it. Um, buzzed. Let's see if anyone's ripped. Buzz. Lovely buzz without the headache. A social distance get together. So nice to have a drink with a kick and something different without being full of sugar. Felt elegant and as I was joining in. Felt elegant and as I was joining in. <laughs> the rest of my family don't talk to me because I drink alcohol three booze. Yeah. <laughs> When drinking this, the entire party left me entirely alone, leaving me to enjoy my free spirit. Lovely buzz. Delicious take a drink. Slept so well after drinking it. I might give it a go. I might get some for on the stream, maybe. Downside is it is pricey, but but I'm worth treating to someone something nice to drink. Yeah, you're worth it. I'm sold as well. I mean, they're not bad reviews. Let's read the one star. <laughs> Tastes like fucking petrol. Uh, frequent weekend drinker. Well, we know, already know this guy is after getting fucked. <laughs> uh, can you see that all right? Um, yeah, frequent weekend drinker with a busy work schedule. I thought it was time to try something new. That wouldn't leave me with a three-day hangover. Right, so you know what kind of drinker this guy is. He wants something that's going to get him absolutely shit-faced, but without the three-day hangover. His, he set the benchmark there. In summary, I'm sorry I bothered. The box for my three-spirit drink arrived nicely packaged in shredded brown paper. Holding it above my head to the light and looking through the dark glass, I could see a dimly glowing mixture welcoming me in. Alas, it was a Thursday, and having work at 7am the next day, I decided to hold off, given the promised effects of feeling a little floaty and flirty from Demania, Tulsi and Cacao that combined to lift spirits and reduce inhibitions. <laughs> After three doses, you'll be the life and soul of the party. Right, so this is what they're claiming. Saturday afternoon arrived, so in, so enough, however, and I had a barbecue planned. F fucking hell, he's got his life, got his memoirs in here. Finally, no more hangovers, I thought, as I lifted the dark, <laughs> the dark bottle down from my shelf and cracked open the seal. I tentatively poured a shot into it. Fucking hell, man. Sniffed it. Enjoyed the aniseed aroma and then drank him one. The taste wasn't completely unpleasant. He's really fucking building up the tension. It was somewhere between Sambuca that has been sitting in the sun for a while. Oh, and prune juice. But nevertheless, it wasn't great either. Um, I continued to set up the barbecue, awaiting social excitement and lower inhibitions. But after 10 minutes, decided perhaps I should, uh, perhaps I should fucking crack open the Jägermeister. Decided that perhaps I needed to meet the recommended three doses. So I went back and drank two more shots. Fucking hell. Okay. In for a penny. Half an hour later, my friends began to arrive and I proclaimed, <laughs> proclaimed, I found the answer to our hangover problems, proudly showing them my new bottle. Uh, no one else wanted to try it, cause it, but knowing genius isn't always appreciated in its time. Oh my god, I stuck to this fucking guy. Stuck to my guns, having another two shots along with a burger. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've written less than an assignment at uni. Me too. Eventually, I felt a little upbeat. I'm not sure if it was the fact that I was over half a bottle deep or a placebo given the sum of money I paid. So I took another shot for good measure. Fortunately, by 7pm, my friends are certainly much more merry than me, so I decided it's time to call this experiment to an end. Go and buy another tonic. Book fast tonic wine, it was called. Book fast tonic wine? That's just booze, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Is book fast tonic... Book fast tonic wine... That's caffeinated fortified wine. Fucking hell, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> right, so that'll do it. Basically, he said it's shit. I'm used to going on three-day benders with three-day hangovers. Wanted this to have the same effect. It didn't. Um, as soon as that juicy nectar hit my tongue, I rapidly became the life and soul of the party. Of course you did, man. The very effect I've been trying to achieve for the last six hours at a fraction of the price. <laughs> I had half a bottle of white lightning, which is 79p. Um, it gets you shit faced. Uh, perhaps the Benedictine monks have divine intervention on their side. I'm sad to say three spirits do not. Thanks for the experience, guys, but won't be trying again. Well, I wish him, I wish him all the very best. Social elixir tastes strongly of vinegar. I wanted to find something as decent alternative while my wife is pregnant and I'm still yet to find it. This is the thing, right, I don't drink, I mean, I, I suppose I do drink this because I stopped drinking, like I said, two years ago. I do still like the taste of beer, but I don't. I don't drink it to feel fucked, like a placebo effect. I think these people are in it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Essentially, you had a few hours of one day alcohol free. Yeah, I went, fuck it, book fast and white lightning. Yeah, exactly. Go hard or go home. Sadly, does not make me fall asleep at all. Quite the opposite. I can't drink a lot of these, though, either, because they do taste a bit a bit minging after a while. Leave a bit of a coating on your mouth. But with actual beer, it gets you pissed, so you don't really you don't really mind that. Same with uh non alcoholic gin and tonic that you can get in the cans. One of those will do you. And then they just taste Yeah. They don't taste nice doesn't do what it says at all and the cost of the product is disproportionate to the taste enjoyment just throw money away it's easier but i just won't i just won't spend money on that rather than throw it away good well i don't think i'll be buying that then we're gonna leave that there At least we know now, Chop. I'll stick with these. Every now and again. Think, I don't think. Very educated for a Saturday evening. Yeah. It's good that, wasn't it? Just break up the uh go off on a bit of a tangent there. Yes! get to a point with this where it doesn't really matter how I'm feeling. Um, 
just sort of come on and see what happens. Um, and I know I shouldn't compare myself to Lenny because he's been doing it for years. But I love that about his streams when he just... He'll just go live and not know what he's going to do. He'll watch stuff on YouTube or go off in a bit of a tangent and play a bit of one game and do something else. It's the... Um... Okay. I suppose when I'm just starting off and there's not many people in the chat or if I'm not feeling very talkative, I suppose it's just getting okay, being comfortable with that, you know, not having to be switched on all the time, or entertaining, I don't know. I don't know. Time, mate. Early doors at this point. Yeah, the only settlement will go from there. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Stopping by. It's nice chatting to you. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. And uh, have a good Sunday, mate. It's nice, uh, nice chilling with you.
determined to do it. Come on, grab it. than it needed to be, we got there. Nice. Have a quick look at this, I might turn in myself. Can't leave. I have your shoe. Oh shit. Right, it's rain now. It's a bit of protein. Ready to do a battle. to get used to talking 
Even though there's nobody here. But there might be people watching this now uh, on YouTube. Very odd. Overthinking it. Hello there. Run, 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 run! <laughs> nope! If I run, yes, he can run anyway. Ah. I think there's um, a lot of nightmares too. I'd be inclined to get that if it's anything like this. See what happens, eh? So off the table then. You're doing a line <laughs> you're doing a line off the table. Oh, 
to get a key from somewhere. that ledge, up onto the beams, find the key. Shit! Ah. In you go. Next time, what I might do as an experiment is just turn off the viewer numbers in the chat. See if I can just chat away regardless. Just as an experiment. That was quite nerve wracking, that. It, not having anyone in the chat and going live feels a bit weird. It's like. Part, like instinctively, like what's the point of doing this? I'm, f you know, <laughs> I'm live on the internet, just playing a game. No one's watching. This is not worth watching. I heard in uh, there's a YouTube video of a streamer saying, when you're starting out, turn that off. The last thing you should be thinking about is how many people are watching. Just get get comfortable. Just concentrate on the game, I guess. Don't try and do too much too soon. Um, I've just been here, haven't I? that oh what does the switch do oh hey man no way which uh, short film Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he, we still work together 
but I suppose just growing up you kind of part you sort of part ways and um, yeah creatively we, we kind of stop working together but he's in the short film I'm doing though so we still work together it's just a bit different now so yeah he's in the short film I was telling you about called Wolf Ticket It's good when you find someone that you can just sort of click with creatively. Sort of on the same, always on the same page. And they'll, t they'll tell you if something's shit or something needs to be changed. <laughs> I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. There's only, a, there's only a few people I know like that that will, that will tell me if something's not right or if something's not working. Is, you know, it's the only way you get better. The one where you said uh, he brought you plant pot. I'm sure it was, uh, yeah, uh, inertia. That one was. So, hmm, that's some festival thing that I entered something in as well. The one it won, it won Stockport Film Festival, which is my hometown. And I think it won like Buxton, might have been Buxton Short Film Festival. Can't remember now. That was the first short film I wrote. There's the key. Buxton, yeah, no way. Nothing to see here. Ah, nice. That's buzzing. See, I told you it's a small world. And what was uh, what was the one you entered of yours? I do, I really miss um, being able to do stuff like that. Going to festivals. Corey and Emmerdale. Uh, Corey was the last proper TV gig I did. Yeah, Corey was 2019, so still a while ago. That was alright. It's nice to have a couple of eps in something. Usually it's uh, coughing a spit, you know. Not Well, that's being unfair. To, you know, have, have something I can get my teeth into rather than, you know, it, a, a line that's just for a bit of plot, you know. Have a bit of fun with it. Um, I like it. No, maybe not. Don't try that again. I heard lots of uh, rumours about Cory, just gossip, that it was a bit of a toxic environment, that there was a lot of prima donnas working there and didn't have that experience at all. It was a really, really, really nice environment. And all the regulars there were lovely. You know, usually when you're doing a guest step and the regulars are just sort of 
you know, that it's another day at the office for them. They're not really, they don't really engage with you, you would think. But everyone there is really chatty, really welcoming, inviting. And that, uh, that puts, puts you at ease and you actually produce better work. But everyone's a winner. But no, it was, it was, it was really nice. Nice vibe. When you say you studied script writing, Padmite, where did you study? And did you learn a lot from it? Because I've done a few. What time I, what time I usually stream? As in, you or me? I don't. I'm gonna assume you mean me. And that's a typo. Usually, round about this time, well, about eight o'clock. But I've not actually got a solid schedule at the moment, to be honest, mate. I'm just sort of dipping in and out of it. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm dipping in and out of it, to be honest, mate. I've only been streaming since last Friday. So I did one during the day on Thursday. I quite enjoyed that. It was, it was nice to do one where you've not got time to get nervous during the day. No, I didn't have time anyway. But I, I, I go to work as well. So I work in a bubble with my stepdad. So I'm not usually free during the day. So usually evenings. What about you? How many streams have you done, by the way? And what sort of stuff do you stream? Um, what happened with that lever then? Oh, I can turn that handle. Turn out the sausage. Mmm. Sausage. Yes. I'd like another one, please. Uh, what's supposed to do with that? Curious. Sulfur Uni. It was pretty useful. Cool. It's the best advice I got there was telling you. Uh huh. Structure the script. You do comedy. <laughs> you have to have a gag with every other line. Wow. That's pretty, uh. That's pretty intense. But I suppose you're right. I know with the, uh. In the industry, that would be pretty standard, wouldn't it? If the laughs aren't on the page, they're not going to be. <laughs> they're not going to be on the screen, are they? I watched some masterclasses. Not sure if you've seen any of those. You know, with like David, L David Lynch, uh, Aaron Sorkin. Scorsese. The Aaron Sorkin one was really useful. And I've read, you know, the the main sort of books on it. Like Story, Robert McKee and Sid Field. You know, I really enjoyed reading them. And then I got to a point where I was reading more of those books than I was actually writing. I was like, eventually I'm just going to have to put pen to paper and <laughs> see if I can actually do it. Comedy is a bit more instinctive for me. And obviously I had a writing partner, so we would make each other laugh and then just write it down. And we would, we would build around that. But then reading those kind of books and watching writers talk about it, you start to learn what 
things are necessary. You know, the, the principles, really. Yeah, I think before my scripts were more like Curb Your Enthusiasm, comedy was more slow build to a gag. Ditch that now, yeah. Have you seen... Uh, I was chatting to Chop before about Staged. This thing on BBC I play called Staged, and it's uh, Michael Sheen and David Tennant, and they, they're actors playing themselves. And it's really funny. It's very loose kind of humour. It's the, the comedy comes from them. There's some gags in there, but it's just very funny and it's very watchable. But they play themselves, and there's an exchange between them and Michael Palin. And Michael Palin is obviously old school, um, you know, very disciplined writer. And he talks about writing with Monty Python. And he's saying, yeah, I, like, I liked your stuff. I, I, I really liked it to Tennant and Sheen. He says, yeah, I liked it for what it was. You know, basically the the slight on <laughs> the kind of throwaway, uh, like naturalistic humour, like you say, Kirby enthusiasm, which is very loose. But even with Kirby enthusiasm, there's there's a lot of structure to that, isn't there? I guess what I'm saying is, I I did when I first started, I was very similar in terms of you can improvise a bit and see if something funny comes out, but it's much harder to write with structure and all those different principles I don't know I suppose it's a matter of taste isn't it depends what your bag is no I know that was the thing I was saying I, I don't think um, I certainly wouldn't have pinned Tennant as a comic actor Sheen is got Sheen is, is funny but his roles aren't funny like uh, Damned United I thought he was funny but it's not a comedy film is it but I would highly recommend it man because there are fucking some very very funny uh, moments in it surprisingly and I've, I've really rated David Tennant to be honest and I've never really I've always known he's a, he's a good actor he's a very capable actor but yeah I was, I was really really Pleasantly surprised, without sounding too much like a snob. Sheen was funny in 30 Rock. Oh, was he in 30 Rock? It's years since I watched that now. Yeah, they're both... I think they're both just very... I've heard somewhere that it's... It's harder to do comedy. Like, if you... Comedy is hard to do as opposed to acting in general like even serious actors would be daunted by doing comedy because I think comedy takes a certain amount of oh without sounding like a pretentious wanker but a, a good bit of intuition if I can say that to do it well and with a good amount of conviction you know you can't be a bad actor and a, a good comic actor. I don't know. Maybe I'm chatting shit. Yeah, Tina Fey's boyfriend, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that rings a bell now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll do. Go in there. But yeah, uh, I would recommend Staged. Because there's no... It's all filmed as if they're... They're rehearsing a play, but via Zoom during lockdown. So it's all just footage of them in front of their laptops. So it's just their faces, you know. Very funny. What am I doing here? Wow, 
Quite broad, yeah. Yeah, he's a... Yeah. I was saying that before. Ten recommendations. I don't know, man. Like, I've seen... <laughs> broad Church. Obviously, that's very mainstream, isn't it? Uh, I wasn't... I'm, I'm not a Doctor Who fan, so... He was in an episode of Criminal, which is on Netflix. I thought he was quite good in that. The, the, him and Sheen were in Good Omens together, which I haven't seen, but that is what they reference in Staged. That's like how they're friends, is that, you know, they met together on the on the set of that. But no, I'm not, there's nothing I would highly recommend with Tenant. Apart from staged. Oh, that's my Discord thing. That's a bit late. That was, um, I'll put that on a timer. It's come on every half hour. It's like two and a half hours in. <laughs> yes, very much like the trip. Very much so. Were you a fan of that at all? I love the trip. say it holds up as a comparison to the trip I wouldn't call it like a, you know oh they're just trying to do the trip the dynamic between them carries it and there's some great cameos around them love Coogan but gone off him a bit recently sometimes he can come across a bit snobby in his interviews yeah did an interview once where he slagged off Simon Pegg's movies and he slagged off Will Ferrell films sometimes he comes across he's better than other people's work despite him giving yeah <laughs> giving them roles in their film giving him roles in their films yeah Simon Pegg he gave Simon Pegg his first gig didn't he he was in uh, the Ma oh what was it he was the Milky Bar Kid wasn't he in one of Alan Partridge's sketches, Simon Pegg. And he was also in The Man Who Thinks He's It, the live show. I'm sure he did a skit with him or something in that. Uh, but yeah, I, I get what you mean about Coogan. He can be a bit uh, cantankerous, shall we say. Or maybe just comes across a bit, a little bit arrogant, I don't know. I've always been a massive fan of him. Oh, and he was in the series, I'm Alan Partridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the Ladyboys scene. Mmm, Ladyboys. <laughs> How long have we been drinking? Uh, about 45 minutes. <laughs> Alan, that's the kitchen. Yeah, I've got to cook all the food. <laughs> it 
It's a hotel. Yeah, three star. I've got to say, I'm off to watch some TV. Catch you next time. Catch you next time, man. I've um, I followed you, so I'll I'll catch you on one of your streams soon. So yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. Nice chatting to you. That's the key. So watch his movements. Ugh. Very sounds in the lamps. Turn around at any point, please. Go and I'm going to call it a night.
Turn, turn that button on. He will investigate the distraction. Come back and grab the key. the other way, Egypt. Damn it. Right. Call it an eye, I think. That was fun. I like that game a lot. I'll come back to that.
Very good, very nice and good. Thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Thank you if you watched on YouTube or on Catch Up. There's a link in the chat here for Discord. So I'm going to try and get people to join that where we can all kind of just have a chat offline. You can suggest games and things you want to see on the stream or just share pictures of cats because cats are daft, aren't they? Um, but you can also have voice chats on there. <clears throat> so for gaming online, things like Dead by Daylight, stuff like that. We'll see where it goes. But yeah, the link's there. There's also a link on the About page as well. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Nope. This one. Bye. <laughs>